Alrighty, I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I just wanted to get a very quick preview of what I've been working on um, for past uh, 12 hours or so. Um, well, not, not 12 hours straight. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> but over the past day um, that I've been kind of messing around with, uh, I saw on uh, on the community forum for Flutterflow, somebody was uh, asking if Flutterflow had the capability of uh, implementing gesture controls, um, which, to my knowledge, I mean, I've looked everywhere, and unless Flutterflow has introduced it just recently, uh, you don't have that capability uh, within Flutterflow to uh, implement more complex controls uh, to your users within an app, aside from the typical uh, tap, double tap, long press, and swiping uh, motions that are applied to uh, widgets and um, uh, to various actions. So uh, having seen that on, <clears throat> on the community, I wanted to put together a solution to that. And my intention is, is to build out this, um, this custom code in its entirety with a little bit more um, sensible interface and then uh, submit it to Flutterflow to put into their marketplace so that it'll be accessible to clone and use within your apps. Uh, but in the meantime, um, you can you can run the code if you want to. Um, but this is just a very basic layout that I've got going on here just to kind of demonstrate what it does. Um, if you watch the video I posted last night, it showed the ability to move an object around on the um, on the canvas of the app, uh, but you really couldn't do anything with it. And um, that was just a, just a very basic preview of what I was doing. Um, but the end game uh, uh, that I'm looking for with this is to actually be able to move a bunch of different items around the canvas and drop them into various places so that you can uh, utilize this functionality for a variety of reasons from uh, making games to uh, being able to customize characters, make like avatars or emojis, things like that. Uh, and also using it for um, uh, like photo editing or uh, if a user wants to change their profile picture or change their uh, background picture or something like that from a, a list of pictures they've already uploaded, they can just grab one, drag and drop it into a spot and it'll change the photo. Um, and then of course, if you're designing anything like a form building app that gives the end user the ability to to make their own forms they need to be able to have the ability to drag and drop form elements um, so having uh, been able to pass that capability to a user of being able to grab something on the app and move it around uh, the app canvas and and drop it in various places um, can be very very useful for a lot of reasons and then of course um, you can apply callbacks to uh, to the widget so that when it's dropped in a certain place, um, you can have it initiate actions or functions or send messages or pretty much whatever you want it to do. So, uh, but anyway, uh, I just kind of threw this together. That was a neat idea. Um, this is all static here. It's just going to stay in spot, but I can pick this. Oops. Well, there I went. Just <laughs> reloaded. Sorry. Uh, click the wrong button. All right, let's try that again. So I can pick this guy up and I can move him around the canvas, as you can see. I can even take him off screen, which you can um, define barriers so that it can't do that. So it'll stop at the at the edge. Um, but if I move him around in here and just let him go, he'll go back. Uh, he'll he'll snap back to his original position. But if I move him up here, you're going to see that that text appeared right under um, uh, the Pac-Man there that says game over. Um, which is basically just a, a very simple callback that I'm uh, doing with, with that uh, action there. And then, of course, if I move them off of there, it goes away. Um, so I move them around, let them snap back, and then if I want to actually place them here, I can just move them up here above game over and let them go. And now he stays put in that spot. So, again, pretty useful um, custom uh, functionality as far as... Uh, passing the ability to a an end user to be able to 
grab items on a screen and move them around and play with them, manipulate them. Um, it's similar to the editor in uh, in Flutterflow, the uh, using the stack widget where you can actually move items around on a stack. Um, and this does actually use stack, but that's because I, I need to be able to move this guy around on top of these other elements. Uh, but stack, the stack widget in Flutterflow is not what gives you the capability to actually um, move the widget and drop it into a certain spot. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail right now about uh, the custom code that I've implemented, but I will show it to you real quick just so you can kind of see it. Um, but anyway, this is how I have my widget tree set up. Again, it's just very simple. I've got a stack, I've got an image, which is the Game Boy here, and then I've got two custom components. Um, so we'll go to our custom components back here. And uh, this was just a test project. This I can actually get rid of this, which I will do soon. Um, but these, these two are the ones that are in play. So we've got the draggable widget and then we've got the drag target widget. Um, draggable widget is the Pac-Man. It's the, the object that I can actually move around the screen. Um, in the child, uh, for the widget, you can, you can do whatever you want here. I have an image, which again is the, uh, the Pac-Man. Um, and but you can do a container or a field element or again pretty much whatever you you want it to be um and then there are just some some settings through here that define what it does whenever you move it around but again we'll we'll go all over all that once i have it uh finished in its entirety um, and explain how i did it and what i did and uh, make the code available to you if you would like to use it um, and then the uh, drag target widget is the invisible widget in the canvas that you couldn't see, um, but it was the, the screen of the game, game Boy, essentially, um, where the draggable widget was received. And so it's a, a transparent widget uh, that's looking for a specific uh, data element that's being passed to it from the draggable widget and if those two data elements uh, match then it'll receive the draggable widget and from there you can initiate various functions um, make it do different things if you want to and if the data elements do not match up then it'll reject it and the uh, draggable widget will snap back to its original position um, so there's the code that I have for that. It's pretty simple code, honestly. There's not a whole lot to it, um, but it can get a lot more complex uh, than this. And um, this is just kind of what I've got worked up, just kind of messing around with it. But I'm getting ready to uh, uh, use it to build out a like a chessboard, um, so you can play a chess game. Um, and I'm also going to use it uh, for. Um, advanced image editing and manipulation so all right uh, that that's it for this really short tutorial um, if this is something that you are interested in seeing and using let me know and uh, I'll, I'll keep your name in mind to, to let you know when it's available um, again I'm gonna try and get it submitted to Flutterflow so that it can be available to everyone um, but I can I can definitely provide you the code and uh, I'll do a longer tutorial in the future of how to work with all these uh, elements and and manipulate them and, and make them do what you want them to do. All right, that's all for now.